There's three possible reasons why you may have so much drama in your life. <laughs> Maybe you grew up with drama. Maybe drama was normal in your family with your parents and your siblings. And as a kid, you kind of just um, adapt to the environment that you're raised in a monkey see, monkey do, and you grow up becoming a drama person, wondering where it came from. Maybe you are addicted to the energy drama gives you in your life. You like the buzz and you like the energy of it, the sense of control it gives you. Um, and if you were calm and peaceful for more than a few moments, you'd miss drama so much, you get bored and fidgety. So you got drama withdrawals. <laughs> Maybe you get some kind of reward for your drama. That's another reason why I think people are drawn to drama. It has its own reward as drama. Maybe it's sympathy or it's attention. Um, or you use it to avoid uncomfortable situations by drama in it away from you and using it as a smokescreen from something that is uncomfortable for you. Either way, I want you to understand that drama is learned behavior. And whatever you learn, you can unlearn. Because you know what? You may be a great person to be around other than that. But your non-dealing with that, your non-working on reducing drama, is making it harder and harder for us to stay in your world. And that would be a shame. So, maybe you could book yourself into drama rehab for this next season of your life and unlearn what you learned that has made you be drawn towards drama in your life. Let's cut the drama, eh? Love you guys. Speak to you soon.